When me tell him, say me no eat no fish, no, no meat now. I when me eat them, I wonder when me yam. When me tell him, say that I'm a vegan man. So are we now in the middle of a wood or something like that? No idea, man. No. We're actually still by the lake, but it doesn't look like it. I told you to bike. Oh. So, uh, what do you think of this place? Dry. Dry? Yep. Still dry? Yep. Drier than anything you've had before? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, you can actually see plants growing. Yay! Plants growing. Freshly new. Ready to be eaten. Wait, wait, can you eat all these plants? I know nettle can be eaten, but... Uh, nettle can be eaten? It can be eaten. Oh, that thing is... That thing is it's good. very healthy though. Oh, yeah, healthy. But what's the thing on the, on, on the ground? No, yeah, what was that? I'm, is I'm it gonna... salt? Is that salt? I don't know what it is. But definitely it's not salt oh, to me. Uh, I don't know if my, if my feet can, I can handle this thing. I don't know. It's a cool place, they have a beach, they have some houses, and I wonder, Jose, yeah. would you like to swim in here? Not really, right now I don't have a swim in No, but if, if it's warm enough and you have, you have a oh, yeah, swim in probably. probably. You know what it is? What? A nudist yeah. beach. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. So you don't you actually need to take anything with you? Oh my God, what? Yeah, what do you, you, you see in the swimming here now? I wouldn't now? try it. You wouldn't try it? Nope. Okay, so are we there yet? 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 Ah, uh, it's there. It's over there. Finally. This is what a Norwegian sausage looks like. <laughs> this is called lumpe. It's actually made out of flour and potatoes. Here we're grilling. And Jose, mm, what, what, how do you like lumpe? One of the best things on earth, man. How do you think about the vegan sausages? The fuck? <laughs> What about seriously? No, seriously, they're not that bad, but they're, they're acceptable, man. Ah. <laughs> they're still acceptable. So, uh, how do you think the burgers taste like? They taste like dog food. Dog food? <laughs> yeah, well, they're actually good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like beans. It's like eating meat, but you're not eating meat. No, exactly. Uh, I find many meat replacements to be like almost the same thing. So, what do you think about this? This uh, one's way better. This one actually tastes like something. Oh, yeah, my, my brother actually didn't like them. You're kidding. Whoa, this actually tastes like sausage. Like, it is, at, at yeah. Least. It is a German sausage or bratwurst, that they call it. Yeah. Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think I think they're good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. One of the very idyllic places. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's right. And how did the food taste? Good, just for the German sausages. But then after that, everything was just dog food. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> vegan food. Yeah, vegan food. Well, I can assure you it doesn't actually taste dog food. It was only that someone had the texture of dog food, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it was so better than that, like, at least. Like, but the German sausage was just perfect. It, was, it tastes like meat. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, like, for those of you who haven't tried meat replacements before, it really depends. But you will get through a lot more tastes by trying different type of meat replacements. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think it was just the way we cooked them. We did it in a rush there, but uh, I actually think the other sausages were, they were okay. Yeah. The burger, we could have made them a little bit. We could have, better. we could have. We, have, we could have made, made them at least. Yeah. yeah. We, we could have made it. We made them, you know. Yeah, we, we could. Yeah. So now we are still keep walking this direction and we're only half the way. So yeah, we're now gonna head over here. I am not quite sure, but I, I, I think this is the only way we can walk. Uh, I have been walking this way before, but I don't quite remember, it's a long time ago. It shows us the way to walk. It shows us the way to not walk. But more importantly, it shows us where to walk. And now I actually recognize. Finally. I recognize it. Yay. Now we're walking. The long and winding road that leads to your door. Hold the door! <laughs> oh, yeah, hold, hold the door. door. Hold the door, <laughs> hold the door. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> they do so have a Dumbledore. No. I dumbled upon that door. You dumbled upon that door. 
man. The OG, OG OT sounds like gonna hate you right now. <laughs> wow. And I have one impressed foreigner. You know, this place is a little bit idyllic. I remember when I uh, went to this Hobbit village in um, in England. It reminds me a little bit of that, although it doesn't look like it. I just have the same feel. No, we don't reach it over. We won't reach it before the train. Oops. We won't reach it before the train. Downhill and uphill again. Yay! Downhill, yay! Fuck! Oh, uphill again, fuck! <laughs> okay, Jose, now we're going to walk up again. Oh no. <laughs> Are you tired? No, but with you in that costume, I feel like if I'm doing the walk of shame. <laughs> doing the walk of shame just because I have a Kigurumi on. <laughs> what the hell is a Kigurumi, man? <laughs> That rock. That rock, yeah. You know what? You, you, with you, you with know, you know what's good with this rock? What? Now, no cars can follow us. <laughs> yeah. Man, get, get back, get back, and take a picture of me on this rock. Okay, I can do that. Can, can you do it with the camera? Yeah, I can. Uh, I can't do it with this, but uh, I should use your phone, right? No, it's just for you to send it to me. Okay. Yeah, you know that Furness has a lot of hills, right? Yeah, man. And uh, what do you think of this hill comparison to the last one? If you think agriculture is okay, now I'm referring to animal agriculture, let's see how it changed when you have a lot of sheep inside of there. So uh, how would vegetation be if they were free? It would be great because they would be all over, but here they are just tearing everything down. We will now go under the zip line. And all of a sudden, my uh, my voice changed. So now my voice is like everywhere, and I sound just amazing. That's cool. You sound amazing too. What do you think of this place? Hey, please don't tell me it's another nudist beach. No, it's not another nudist beach. Yeah, another nudist. We're now on a path where environment changes a lot. This is just amazing, the place is just in perfect harmony. It's, I, I love this landscape, it's per perfect forest for walking. Really, you, you, I mean, it's completely cush lake to take a stroll here. <laughs> cush lake, but cozy in the way. He's actually around that. There are ants all over, actually. Yeah, that's amazing. Jose thinks this is amazing. The way that the sun goes, goes through this uh, dark forest of gloom and hollow. Jose, we now have to leave this uh, this world. How do you feel? Yeah. It was a real nice experience. <laughs> it's comforting. Kushli. Okay. Kushli. <laughs> but now we have yet another environment to to find here. Yeah, uh, what's what's next? The railway and the cars and stuff. Seems like society, but then, then again, no. <laughs> yeah, you don't have railways in the Dominican Republic. Metro system. <laughs> Only metro system. We don't need railways for connecting our our state, man. Like, well, it's not. They're not states at all. They're actually no prefecture. Yeah, prefectures. Okay. Okay. This is the next environment. Let's cut down wood. <laughs> what do you think about that? Mm, is this a chain. This is how it looks when a road goes through a forest. People from the Dominican Republic are not used to this. This survive it. I'm used to well well yeah, okay, it's kind of weird. <laughs> This is how it looks like when you are out in the wild and all of a sudden you find civilization.
Wow. If I was this good at gardening, I would definitely do it. Are your mama this good at gardening? My grandma is actually. Oh, amazing. Now we're actually walking towards the mountainous regions again of uh, Norway. Uh, and it seems like when you get further up on here, there will be way more hills. Hello, horsey. Are you fine, horsey? You want to talk to me, horsey? Hi, horsey. I'll tell you, this place is freaking amazing. Okay, I don't think this diving tower cost uh, 30 millions. Yep, it does. I, I see a mosquito. Do you see a mosquito? Nope. Ah. As soon as it's not a mosquito, it doesn't bite. It doesn't bite? Oh, look at him. He, that thing is so weird for being a mosquito. Oh, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a male. It's male? Yeah. It doesn't bite, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. Now we're walking into the city. Not much of a city, but still, it's a city. That means water. You need water. Yeah. You're dehydrated. I'm gonna die, man. <laughs> Sooner or later. This is a very old building in Brummelal. And the very fun thing about the southern part, except for the station that is right up here. There is absolutely nothing. There's abandoned buildings and half of the city. Yeah. We're here finally. And uh, it's not as abundant as it used to be. Someone has moved in. This <laughs> actually got the status of being a city, like recently. So uh, how do you feel? Tired. Now not so thirsty, but... Tired? Still tired. So, Jose, you were lucky because the last bus is going to Hamar. <laughs> Damn, man, you have no idea. Yeah, but uh, I wasn't so lucky because this bus is only going to Hamar and it's not going to Lurton. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not uh, gonna get to sleep tonight. So yeah, we're finally there and uh, I can't get home so I'm gonna have to call my brother up. But this was actually amazing. If uh, Jose has uh, something more to say, he can uh, speak up right now. Tired, man. I want to go home. But this was amazing. This is maybe my best, one of my best experiences in ah, Norway. It's just cool. I'm like three weeks away from going, and this just this was just nice. Vegan dragon. Okay. Just nice. So, yeah, he will. Uh, he will uh, be vegan one day. I'm sure of it. I'm not gonna be vegan. Maybe vegetarian. Who knows? But. Yeah, he, he told me that if he finds a falafel place, he will be vegan. Okay, definitely. That's and that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. So definitely, if you live in the Dominican Republic, open a falafel place. 